Good morning, fellas. This is day one of FLW Tour. FLW. I said that already. Beaver Lake. Yes. Brandon is chipper this morning. It's only, what, 5, 15? Maybe change hoodies. What? You got my good hoodie. This is the the one Garmin sent me with the Carhartt thing, and it's Maybe better. I say, yeah, no. It's only 42 degrees outside, so I have to wear a sweatshirt and my AFCO jacket. To layer up, my friend. Check out the hat I'm wearing. I'm going to be pimping the camouflage American flag hat today because Beaver Lake is flooded. Yes, it rained. The lake's come up four feet since yesterday. It's in the woods. Yeah, so I'm wearing camo today. We've got to somehow survive this event. We've got to somehow catch fish in this tournament. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've been doing this a long time. With the weather conditions that we just hit, that just hit us, lake conditions that just came up, not sure what to expect. But I will promise you this, we're going to try hard. We're going to be smart as we can, so stay tuned. We're going to get this party started. You ready, Billy? Are you ready? ready? Let me show you the winner of this tournament. Right there, Mr. Billy Messler. It's my week. Go, 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 go. It's my week. Scott said, Billy, I need you to uh, back the truck up, make it straighter so we can get this. Billy. Film that. I was talking, and then all of a sudden you just hit it. <laughs> and guess what? The truck's in the exact same position. <laughs> no, not from that side. You were the before until you backed up. What? Yeah, you messed it up. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Strong man Billy. Did you even pay for that? Not yet. What's going on here, dude? It's got lights. It's got Christmas lights. I want Christmas lights. Alright, dude. Let's blaze. Let's blaze. Oh, look at you. Very nice, my friend. No coffee action. Cuff no coffee for you? Sorry, Brandon, I don't have That's three That's two hands. videos in a row. No coffee oh, for you! Coffee. I'm sorry, man. People are going to be mad at you Dude, guys. you can go back and you can go to Starbucks down the street. <clears throat> Starbucks is you, not You can go and have a beautiful breakfast. It's 20 miles. You can go to the Wi-Fi cafe and check all your <laughs> ding-dong things that beep on your phone. It's just it's beautiful. Look at that. That right there, guys. Look, if you're watching this and you don't fish, you're just watching it because you like seeing people do stupid stuff. You should start fishing and get up in the morning and watch sunrises. Watch God's creation right there. That is beautiful. Here's what's crazy, Brandon, is that there are thousands of people that never get up in the morning and watch the sunrise. All right. Back her down, Captain. I got your net. Hmm? I got your net right there. No, you gotta, we got to put that. No, I got that for you. You net your own fish today. What? Yeah. Could be like that ninja. Taking the net with me? Yeah. <laughs> I got us an extra net. You gotta put it, you gotta put it right here in your in your in your thing. Right it. sticking up. The way you get a fish, you just go, you just go, you just go, squat oh, I got you man! I now I'm a net ninja! I have contact for you! Yes. Contact! You want red or blue? Contact! But 104! Yes, sir. 415, I like it. Done deal. Yep. Look at those. You don't have these in your live wells, boys. You need to get them. Yes. It's a 10 minute install, BT2. It allows air to go in and out of your live well so it's not all stuffy. Just back that. Rolling? Yeah. Back that. That's all you. Billy. How can I not do good today? Good grief. That's ridiculous. All right, man. Okay. Go get him, bro. Good luck to you. I'm going to do that again. That was hard. hard. I know. We always Bam. need to hit that's when, that's when Brandon will put, like, sparks in music right now. Music.
Got him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> little bonus fish. A little drop shot action. Yes, sir. He didn't like that drop shot, dude. No. At least I don't zero on beaver, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's 16. What we can do is I got a couple more over there in the sun. I'm gonna go fish for some of those and come back in a minute. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. He's, that's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one, but it's still a fish. That's not him. It's a spot. <laughs> that's definitely not him. There's a three and a half pound largemouth in there, but they, hey, I'll take that. <clears throat> a little bonus. A little bonus. We're doing some bonus action today. Thanks for coming out. A little bonus. Number two. All right. Hey, good job. Thank good you. Job, buddy. Thank yeah. you. A little bonus. Didn't expect that. All right, guys, we pulled in the first little pocket. Now, I haven't caught any of the fish that I found yet, but I did get two bonus little bites. Let's go over here and see. It's so early in the morning, there's a little bit of fog. It's hard to see. So, just need to get 13, 14 pounds a day and prepare for day two. What we need to do. The GPS has moved. Let me, let me pitch right here on this little bush or this tree. Uh, okay. I think I see where he is. We went right by him. Got him. Net. Yeah, he's a good one. Oh, he pulled off that little turd. I think he's a two and a quarter pound spot. There he is, there he is. Got him. Here he comes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> good job, Thank buddy. you, man. You're welcome. That was a good spot. Yeah, two pounder. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. All right, boys, number three. Oh my gosh. Three pounder just came up and bit it and then went back in the tree oh, god almighty I, just, I don't know if that was him or not but i mean it's missed fish he's got it it's a good one thank you that's over two yeah there was another one with him yeah Got him. Net. Oh, yes. Boo! Drop shot. Drop shot, my friend. Found him with a swim bait. Caught him with a drop shot. All right. That's nice. Thank you, Lord. He lives on this dock, behind this dock. I don't know if he's... He's not spawning, he's just he was just sunning underneath it the other day. Net. No, I got him. I got him. I think he'll get rid of that one. I think so, yeah. Yeah, he looks bigger. Yeah, he's bigger for sure. What's up, B? Billy got a limit. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, fall out of the boat. <laughs> he didn't get a limit, that's good. He's gotta be doing, I mean, that's all he's, if he gets a limit both days, he's gotta shout it. Just saying. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. He's gonna get first. He's gonna get first. Right. It's his tournament. <laughs> What's up, dude? He's not. Put you in 21st spot. Congratulations. Just coming off a of victory just this last minute in Lake Como, man. That $125,000 richer. Yeah, I tell you, it was a true blessing at Lake Cumberland. It was, uh, it was one of those it was one of those tournaments where you get dialed in on a pattern, and I was just able to run around the lake. It was a lot of fun. The Lord blessed me a ton. So, you know, I, I, I stunk it up a little bit today, but 10 pounds, 
kind of survival weight. But uh, you know, th here's the thing: beavers, beavers going to change some tomorrow, and guys are going to catch them better, and some guys are going to catch them worse. So hopefully, I'm one of those guys catching a little bit better tomorrow and sweep it back to top 20. Let's see what happens. Scales over. Good job, man. At three o'clock tomorrow. How much props? How fast? So Billy got a limit. I'm surprised to see how I'll fast you in. moved up. 15th or so, 10th, left 12th. I was in 10th, so probably, I don't know how far I dropped. It's, it's good. Start. Solid. It's good. Very excited. Need uh, just a little bit better tomorrow. It'll be yeah. fun. We got Jimmy Houston tomorrow. You got the legend. All right. We're going to finish eating. We're going to go get some tackle rig, put some gas in this thing, and figure out a game plan for day two. Thanks for hanging out so far halfway through this video. Hopefully, a quarter of the way through the video. We'll see you in the morning. You're fishing with Jimmy Houston. Jimmy Houston. Where do I know that name? World famous. Yeah. Jimmy Houston. Yeah. He's the guy with the Tennessee hat? No, he's the guy that kisses the fish, man. He kisses the fish. Did he, like, get that started? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. Yo, B, we need to put a camera on Billy. He's fishing with Jimmy Houston today. Good morning, Brandon. Thank you for getting out <coughs> for him. And, and we, we do need to go to the ramp now. All right, guys. Day two. FLW tour. Starts now. All right, dude. We'll see you, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Billy, I need greatness out of you today, my friend. Yes, you do. Jimmy you Houston, do. dude. Billy's got Jimmy Houston today, and that's a big deal. I mean, Mr. Jimmy. He's from he's from Memphis, Tennessee, by the way. Yeah. He wears, he wears the key on his hat. Uh, hey, buddy. I am uh, I'm pulling up. All right, guys, so today's goal is to catch a big bag of fish. Obviously, that's everybody's goal. But... I need to make some adjustments. I need to fish clean today. I need to fish with patience. I had the bite yesterday to be in second or third place in this tournament. So again, it's it's good and bad. I missed the fish, which is bad, but it's good because I did make the right decisions yesterday. I did make the right cast. I just didn't okay, get them in the boat. Good. So today I've got to I got to execute. So say a big prayer for me. We got to make this thing happen, All right. guys. Oh. All right. Oh my gosh, Jimmy's gonna crash wow. into my boat. <laughs> Were you afraid you're gonna have to take Billy with you today? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, good buddy? I'm in Jimmy's boat. I love that. <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> you can stay in here if you want. I'll you, take you just in case. You're not uncomfortable with me filming you, are you? you know, I've never looked at a camera before. It makes me so nervous. Some I can't get uncomfortable I when I can't stand it. Did you not hear about? Did you not hear about that that uh, deal that? Uh, that uh, Walgreens has got going down there. Uh, they got razor blades on sale, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Dude, I needed some of those. Hey, Y'all have right. a good day. Take good care of my buddy, Billy. I'll yeah. take care of Billy for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, we got to go. Good. What time yeah. is it? It is 6.30 on the nose. We got to go. Guys, we'll see you. Great I'm out. Scott, yeah. Good seeing you, man. Absolutely. Yeah, Thanks luck. for coming out, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. Next time, uh, Yeah, we'll be in touch. Good luck, you guys. All right, partner, we got to go. Let's go, well, guys. Thank you. Right. Look. Uh, dang, I didn't know how big he was. I'm sorry. He's a keeper, though. And it was good. There's one. It feels little, but I got him. I got him. I know he's 12. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. That helps the cause, my friend. That was awesome. That was awesome.
That was awesome. I got him. That's a little spot. That was a little largemouth. He's not big. That other one's gonna eat him. But he's a keeper. Stay down, stay down. Keeper? I think so. I'm not positive. I can keep Oh, oh my yeah. spot, goodness. Spot, 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 spot. Man, he felt a lot better than that. I guess because it was a spot. Good one. Hang on, 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 Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not easy, easy, easy. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Jimmy Houston, I love you. Got him. Got him, baby. Got him, son. It's a good one. Hot dog, Marty. Oh, Jimmy Houston. Oh, Jimmy Houston. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Day is over. I don't know what to say. I just didn't figure it out. That's not good. Not good at all. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Hindsight's always 2020. I'm sure I'll come up with a good explanation. I didn't get it done, guys. Scott and Martin from Clueless Florida had 10 pounds even on day one. Four bass today. The eight pound, seven ounce movie of the top 20. Not gonna do that. Today's weight will be six pounds, one ounce. Puts you at 16 one, Scott, 33rd sp spot. But hey, still some good points right there. Well, you know, it is. And you know, you got you gotta take the bad with the good. I had a good week last week, and uh, this was a little tough for me, but you know, it, it's beaver, you gotta you gotta make adjustments today. I didn't make the right ones, but I sure am glad that the Lord blessed me yesterday with a nice, nice uh, bag of fish, and I caught four today. Hopefully, it'll be good points, keep me in the in the money for the cup. And I want to thank all my sponsors. Obviously, Rangers here. I see Forrest Wood out here making the best boats on the planet. Evan Roof. Uh, I'd say that combination is amazing. So hats off to those guys. I want to say hi to my wife and kids at home. I'll be home uh, pretty soon. So looking forward to it. All right, thank you, Scott. Did you get? You got five? You know me, dude, don't you? Scott only got four. Really. Heck yeah, hold him out there. <laughs> so did you did you find Billy? You said he's got a three pounder, a couple three pounders? Yeah, two looks like. I'm not sure. I'm not pretty good. At, I'm not guessing. You're guessing three, not, or he say three? I'm guessing three. But. Oh, then they could be like one pounders. He could have five one pounders. I'm at guessing weight. Hey, Scott. Did you sign my hat? Yeah, you got a pen? Uh, I can get one. All right. I'll be back. I'll be right here. All right, Billy. Billy, I hear you got a bass. That's awesome. What's up, man? I got a bass. I got five bass. Daniel Fiddle, come on up, Daniel. Kyle, get him. 
He got it some fish, I hear. Billy Messer, come on over. He's out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Jimmy Houston put you on him today, huh? Jimmy Houston got you. That's a good deal, man. Woo, low. Let's see if he can do it. 10 11 is what we're looking for. Five fast for Billy Messer. Heartbreaking. 10 pounds, nine ounces. Just two ounces shy, buddy. But you're all over second place right now. Can't complain about that. That's a good turn. Dude. Two ounces. Oh Don't you hope somebody comes in with like 25 pounds? So they should come in third. No. No? You want a second? Yeah. I thought you did. I want a second. Oh, did you lose any that would have cost you? It cost you the two ounces? No, really. No. Not really. Well, that's a wrap, my friends. So. Uh, I don't even know what to say. All right, so here's the deal. You got to take the bad with the good. You got to take the good with the bad. So I had a great tournament last uh, last week and uh, didn't make good decisions today. But here's the issue. The issue is I didn't figure it out. This lake's fishing fine. This lake's, I mean, you know, people get on stage and go, oh, this lake's fishing tough. No, it's fishing tough because you didn't figure it out. And that's what this game is about. It's about figuring it out. I did not figure this lake out. So... I got beat by the lake, and uh, Billy did good. Billy, Billy had a goal to win this tournament. He aimed at first, and he's going to hit real, real, real close to first. He's going to come in second or third place in this tournament. So, good job, good job. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Drop some comments below. Thanks for sharing the video, guys, and uh, thanks for subscribing. We're growing, love it. It's been awesome, and uh, we'll be back again in a few days with something else we'll see ya Bam. all right we're back again you thought the video was over right well i'm in a much better mood today it's the day after the tournament yeah it was hard to sleep last night i was literally sick about it but i'm excited for a couple reasons one my boy billy came in second in the tournament that's right yeah oh yeah billy he got some bass he actually would have won the tournament but he had a penalty for a dead fish that died in line, by the way. Yes. Four ounces. Four ounce penalty. <clears throat> Lost by one ounce. Mm. How much did it cost you? 17 grand 20, or something? Yeah. Something? Yeah. A lot of money. A lot of money, yes. But he did catch more weight than all the other co-anglers in the tournament. So he's the unofficial champ. Came in second, though. Gets a trophy. Yeah. I think you get a trophy. Get. I think you do. Hey, if not, then we'll make you one. Brandon and I can actually make you one out of, like, cardboard. We'll draw on it and stuff. I don't want it out of cardboard. Surely you can find something nicer than that. What? Like? Just go buy a trophy shop. Yeah, that's okay. We'll do that. The other thing is, I know what I did wrong, guys. So I want to break this down. I want to get real with you guys for a minute. So fishing is all about decisions. It's all about confidence. It's all about attitude. I am a versatile angler, okay? What does versatile angler mean? That means I, I, I can run shallow stuff. I can run deep stuff. I like doing it all. I'm, I don't get boxed in. I, I fish the conditions. That's how I won Cumberland. That's I, that's how I always do good. When I do good is I fish the conditions. I'm not scared of switching up. So here, let me break it down for you. This is what's stupid, okay, for me. Sight fish for the first two days, which wasn't a bad idea, but then we realized that all of a sudden the lake's going to come up. So that was kind of a bad deal that we wasted two days. Then we went fishing, trying to find fish to catch with a spinning rod. Got a lot of bites. Okay, lake, our last day of practice is at 1121, and it's sunny conditions and warm, okay? We have a day off, it rains like crazy, the lake comes up four feet, water temperatures drop, it's post front with rain, what am I doing? No, I'm still throwing a spinning rod on the bank in the same places that I was getting bit the, the two days before that, right? That's not versatile, that's called silly, right? Oh, so what do I go out, I go out on the day two, I go out on day two and I do, I do, Something different? No, no, no. I take the same spinning rod, throw it at the same bank, and the lake's another foot higher. That is not smart, guys. My gut says I should have been up in the mats, flipping in those trash mats, throwing a frog, throwing swim baits, moving around, fishing with versatility, fishing with instincts, okay? I didn't do that, okay? So that was my little rant. That's my end of my video, but I wanted to share that with you guys because, because if you do bad in a tournament, you got to come away with something that's positive and learning what you did wrong is important. So, let's go eat lunch, Billy.